Hey, what's up, everybody? It's you guys with your beautiful, gorgeous motherfucker, Ernest Wayne. And look, today is a story time. And this story time is kind of like really, it's not personal. But it happened to me when I was younger, like 13 or 14, I think, 14 or 15. It was, it was a while ago. I was 14, 15. That, that was quite some time ago. I'm 21 now, so that was a long time ago. I remember I was got shot by a Latino crib, bro. And. What happened was I was chilling with my homie at the time named Dwayne. Now Dwayne was like bad. That nigga was just bad. Like he would break shit, didn't care. He he stole pit bulls from the people in the houses where I lived at. And like, all right, the way it was is like I'm gonna put a screenshot up like right here somewhere or somewhere on the screen of how the apartments look and how close it is to the houses. And it's this big field. This all play a big part in the story. So <clears throat> we inside the apartments, we chilling. Uh, the apartments was fucking bad. I used to live in them as like younger, younger. It was bad for like prostitution, drug deal, crackheads, people dying. It was just all that shit in the hood. So a Latino Chris up the stairs, right? But we didn't notice. So I'm just chilling outside. You know, I just got nothing chilling with this chick or whatever. So he outside and his people are blood, you know. My his people are blood. So it was a lot of tension in the hood because you had bloods, cribs, Latinos, and all that shit. So what happened was we was chilling. The old man walked by with some new Jordans on his feet. I think they was like some teen Jordans or something. I don't know. They ain't look like them damn retros, but I can't really remember. But they looked the fresh though. And I was in my head, I'm just like, yo, them hoes clean. I ain't say nothing out loud, but he just pointed them out. Like, he pointed to the dude like, hey, nigga, your shoes clean. So the old man looked like he was about 70 something years old. So he just get hyped. Like, he just got mad. He was like, nigga, you want them? Come get them. So he started doing like some Bruce Lee shit. Like, come home and come get it, playboy. I'm like, I'm like, Dwayne, leave this nigga alone. But Dwayne didn't want to hear me. This little bad motherfucker started putting his hands up like, what's up, nigga? What's up? Let's go. Let's go. I'll beat your ass. I'll drop you. So in my mind, I'm thinking like, ah, oh, shit, he about to get us to some more bullshit. Some more boo-boo. So the old man took off his shirt. Yo, the man looked at 70. Teeth was missing shit. She was yellow riding and looking, you know, a little crazy boss by with the little strips of white hair. This nigga took off his shirt. I swear to fuck it, I thought we was in some type of kung fu movie. This nigga packs and shit, and titties, muscles, and I was like, what the what? And this nigga was ready to um fight. He was like about to do some quantum. The funny shit is, this nigga got into like a jet lead position. Like he put the leg guy hands up, and I was looking at him like, Dwayne, look at this crazy ass man alone. But the Wayne didn't want to leave it alone. So he started picking them, throwing rocks at them, trying to fight the man and stuff, and all this crazy shit. So, like, after a little 10 minute dispute, you know, them going around, the man trying to hit him and stuff, and he just running. I'm, he, he tried to come up to me. I was like, I ain't got nothing to do with this. You know, Dwayne was like, but you a, you a bitch. I'm like, I ain't gonna get my eyes whooped. My no old nigga at that. So the dude wife came downstairs. So she, what do y'all doing to my husband? This, this, this and that. And she started going at the mouth real hard. She just talking crazy to me like, oh, oh my God. Me, I'm so blind and stuff. And like, if you yelling at my, I'm going to tell you, shut up. So I was like, man, shut up, bitch. So once I did that, oh man. She went upstairs and got the phone, like trying to get the police. So I, we started walking through the alleyway, heading back towards the Wayne house in the apartments. They say like two little sections behind, not really, just like 10 feet. Like, a t like take like 20 steps, walk. And I seen her come around the corner. So her nephew came, and he was a Latino crip. So he came, and he was like, hey, y'all talk to my auntie, this and that. So my partner went, man, fuck you and y'all auntie, little bitch. Little rab ass nigga, I'm, come on, bro. So next thing I know, the dude just, he ran, he ducked off, took off running. I'm like, man, what this nigga running for? So I turned my back, I'm just walking out. We walking away and all I hear was like him running. So I turned my head and all you see is him cocking something. All I seen was something black in his hand. He just, I'm talking about me and this boy Dwayne was gone. I never ran this fast in my life. And like, I'm big now, but back then I was skinny. And that was the fastest I ever ran, bro. I was like out of breath and everything. I'm talking about I had to run through this field. And luckily, oh my God, the fence was down. The back fence of the apartments was down because it was like, 
putting up new fences. So, like, they really had been started on the new fence yet. So, the fence was down. I ran. The fence was still laying in the grass. So, I had to jump. So, I won't trip. So, through the field, I'm just running as fast as I can. I'm going. It just got done raining, like, two days before that. So, so it was muddy. And, you know, you got to try to pick your feet up. I was in my, like, I was in one of my good shoes. I had, like, some felines with vans on at the moment. And I'm just running. I'm, I'm just going, going. And that thing I know, all right, boom. I just I dodged, I hit that grass so quick and he just kept shooting, he just boom, boom. See me, I ran straight into the neighborhood. Like, it was a back alleyway to the houses where I lived at and it was barely lights unless you was like in somebody's backyard. So when you go to the alleyway, you can't see nothing. And be having dogs and all that shit in there. So Dwayne, he curved and went straight to the main street that goes into the houses. And my house is way over there on the other side of the main street. I'm gonna show you guys. You gonna see, it. it's gonna be an image projecting this shit, but he went to that way and I went straight into the alleyway. So the dude running behind us and I ran straight to the alleyway. So dude started chasing me. So it's dark, I couldn't see where I was going, but I'm just running, I'm going full speed. So I hot somebody fence, three dogs. I'm, oh my God, three fucking dogs. What am I gonna do? No, no, them dogs were about to try to tear my ass up. So I'm like, mm, nah, I wanna do it. So I had to hop back over the fence before the dogs even like, rushed at me you know they they came like once i got back halfway on the fence so i'm running and when i look back i see him again so i see the dude he looking he trying to find out like which way i went then when he see me i had to hurry up and hop another fence to hop in somebody else's backyard to another house front of the house and the crazy thing was the asian man was outside so when he see me come through the fence he like he what are you doing in my backyard i'm gone boom he heard a gunshot Chinese man took off and running with me, yo. It was so funny. But I finally got to my house with the back alleyways. I'm beating on the door. Get in the house. I explained to my people what happened. I was staying with my grandmother. So her, my aunt stayed with us and her boyfriend was a crip. So I'm explaining to them the whole situation. So he was like, let me go over there and talk to this nigga. I don't talk. Better whoop this nigga ass. This nigga tried to kill me. So by an hour later, they came back. They said the police was over there and all this and yin yak yak. And the dude was like, yeah, they just, he, they, they fought my uncle and they ran, they left, that's it. I wish I would've been here so I could whoop him myself. So basically he made it seem like he didn't do nothing wrong. So my aunt and her boyfriend came back and he tells me, I talked to him, it's cool. And I'm looking like, nah, it ain't cool. It ain't cool because he could've shot me and I would've been dead. After that, I never seen the man again. And I never seen Dwayne after that again because I cut that nigga loose. I was not ever. About to get shot at for another nigga mistake. I appreciate you guys for watching this story time with me. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you all for your support. I love you guys. You niggas are awesome. And um, <clears throat> leave a comment. You know, comment down below a time where you almost, you know, something bad almost happened to you. And tell me what next story time y'all want to see. You feel me? All right, then we got this thing. Bye bye.